We are not finished, Zeus. The gates of Hades have never held me. Death cannot hold those with purpose, Kratos. Athena. I have missed you, Spartan. I... I don't... And my sacrifice to save Zeus has brought me to a higher existence. You still appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on, and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of his strength. The flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? What has brought about this change? I see truth where I did not before. Perhaps these will earn back your trust. These are the Blades of Exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. Remember, as long as Zeus reigns, there is no hope for mankind. Destroy the flame, Kratos, and the very foundations of Olympus will crumble. Welcome everybody, Josh here today, back again today with a brand new and special product review. Today we talked about this, which is God of War 3, and not only God of War 3, but also God of War 3 Remastered on the PlayStation 4. They have two different versions of this game out right now, so if you've got a PlayStation 3 and you want to play that game on the PlayStation 3 as it was originally intended, or you want to play the remastered version of the game, you definitely can. So I'm going to go set this game down, and then we're going to talk about this game right here. So this is God of War 3 Remastered. This is basically the continuation of the badass trilogy that is God of War one as well as God of War 2 and I personally think that this game is no exception to that rule of badass Greek mythology being portrayed on the screen. Basically Kratos' revenge brought to fruition. Kratos throughout the entirety of the God of War franchise has been a character that's been done wrong by the Greek gods and eventually has to take it upon himself in order to avenge his family and eventually reclaim the honor that was taken from him as well as his family from them. And as you start off in the God of War franchise you learn that Kratos is a father. He really cares deeply about his children as well as his wife and they both get slaughtered by air Ares the God of War. Ares pretty much takes control and ascends to the scales necessary to try and bring down Kratos before he eventually takes the throne of Olympus, which he eventually does. Kratos eventually kills Ares and in the next game basically becomes the God of War. And, you know, Kratos being unhappy with the way that Zeus has basically treated him as well as his family is basically taken upon himself to go to Mount Olympus himself and try to slay all the gods of Olympus and bring an end to his suffering as well as the trauma that he's had to endure pretty much the entirety of this franchise. And for me personally, I feel like as someone who cares a lot about my friends and family who may not be a father figure himself right now i can kind of relate to a character that really does care about his friends and family will be go to the ends of the earth in order to kind of stop the threat that's kind of befell him and i think that kratos himself is a flawed hero i think that he's really ruthless and brutal in these games i think that he's basically in his prime in terms of the god of war franchise especially god of war 3 and i think that that's one of the really cool things that you get to see in this game is a pretty much kratos in his prime taking control over his past mistakes and trying to right the wrongs of his past while also dealing with the fact that zeus is his father you actually get to see a really cool fight scene that takes place between Poseidon and Kratos at the beginning. It's a really hard boss fight. The boss fights in the beginning of this game are really difficult, so much so that they kind of, you know, at times cause me to rage quit the game even before I even start of it because you get to fight not only Poseidon but also Hades. And the Hades boss fight is difficult for a number of reasons. His moves are bitch made, I would guess I would say, in terms of the review. Sorry for swearing, but he has these spikes that come to the ground and can basically kill you. He has all these little tricks and gizmos and gadgets that you really don't get until after you actually beat him, and it's in the first 
first two hours of the game, which makes this a little bit of a difficult challenge to kind of beat. A lot of these boss fights are a little bit difficult and they're kind of rage inducing, but you get that feeling that you're actually Kratos by dealing with these threats as well. There's also different bosses towards the end, like the head of Helios, where you kind of rip the head off Helios and then you can get his head and you can shoot his eye beams at you know enemies and cause them to melt away. And it's pretty cool. It's basically just a light power that just you know illuminates the area, reveals different secrets and stuff like that along the way. And you also get to fight Hermes, who you actually rip off his legs and stuff, and then you get his powers that are kind of like a flash where you run really fast in the game. There's a lot of really cool different gizmos and gadgets that Kratos gets in this game, including weapons. You get the Blades of Chaos back. You get a couple of different weapons, including this one where it's like a bludgeon. We wear them on both of your arms, and it's basically the weapons of Hercules when you actually fight and kill him in the game. And a lot of these weapons come into play later on towards the end, where you actually fight Zeus, who has his sword, and you rip it out of Zeus towards the end of the game, and kill your father at the same time. I think that seeing the conclusion of the God of War franchise of the Greek mythology era was really cool to see. As someone who is really invested in terms of Greek mythology and also like science fiction, I think that this game franchise really has, for me, influenced a lot of my work as a filmmaker. I've kind of written screenplays that are kind of like Clash of the Titans and a little bit like God of Works together with a different formula. So I think that for me, as a storyteller, the hero's journey in this is really, really cool to see. And I think that even with the older hardware with the PS3 and moving on to the PS4, the graphics, especially the fact that it's now on PS5 as well through backwards compatibility, I think that the graphics still hold up really well, even on the PS3 version of the game. But the remastered version does up res it a little bit and make it look a little bit prettier than it would on the PlayStation 3 version. But I think for me personally, the graphics don't really matter to me that much as the story does. And I think that the story for God of War 3, especially the fact that it's ripping off Clash of the Titans and the fact that Harry Hamlin was actually in God of War 2. And that's one of the reasons why you, or you see that pauldron that's kind of on the side of Kratos's arm is because it's from the Harry Hamlin fight they get through the second game of the franchise. So I'd really like to see the first two games in the God of War franchise remastered and put onto the PlayStation 5. They've already been remastered on the PlayStation 3, I do believe, from the PS2 era, but I think that with updated graphics like the God of War 2018 or God of War Ragnarok engine would make those games look really cool and look make them look realistic. They could just basically title it a God of War 1 and 2 remake and bring those games back to fruition and allow players like myself to go back in the past and re-experience these games. But these games are really awesome. They're violent. They're gory. I don't think this is a game that kids under the high school age should play because there is a lot of sex. There's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of violence and gore. But I think that that adds to the more realistic nature of the story that they're trying to tell with the God of War franchise and trying to portray a more brutal and realistic setting for God of War as a series. And I think that without that brutality that you wouldn't really see hardship that Kratos has to go through throughout the entirety of the franchise. So I think this is a really badass video game franchise. I definitely think anybody who's interested in Greek mythology and likes the God of War franchise should definitely check out God of War 3. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of God of War 3, either the PS3 version or the remastered on PS4 and PS5, which I'm basically reviewing. What is the hardest boss fight that you've ever had to fight in terms of the God of War franchise? Who's your favorite boss fight to have fought in the God of War franchise as a whole? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bravo! Bravo! Our hero has arrived. Applause for another bastard child of Zeus. Just in time for the final act. Hero. You look terrible, dear. Still wanting to kill my husband, I suppose? You know I seek revenge on Zeus. Can't say that I blame you. Since you killed my son Ares, fear of you consumes him. His fears will not matter when he is dead. I'll drink to that. Hera, I seek the child. Pandora? That wretched little thing my son Hephaestus created? Well, we can't have you do that, my dear. Destroy him. Hello. This is not between us, Hercules. Isn't it? You were always Zeus's favorite. The air on Olympus affects your thinking, brother. Zeus has no favorites. Think about it, brother. While I was stuck cleaning the Augean stables, he chose you 
to destroy Ares. I'm not convinced. How about this? While you were being crowned the god of war, I was sent to find an apple. <laughs> they called them labors. Ha! Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made a hero, a man made a god. But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. Call it my 13th and final labor. Soon I will become the god of war and claim the throne for myself. You aspire to be an Olympian, yet their reign is in the We'll see about that.